Residents of Komani say their calls for service delivery seem to fall on deaf ears. The residents have been without electricity for seven days and in February, the town experienced heavy rain which led to flooding. Siposetu Boy is standing by to give us more in terms of the voices of the people on the ground and what this day means to them at least. Uh, good afternoon to you, Siposetu. Good afternoon to you, Dudu, and like you correctly state that the residents of Komani were out of electricity for seven days, um, I think two weeks ago, and uh, that's what led to many of the protests. You remember that the residents of Komani are not one to be shy in terms of being vocal uh, when it comes to inequality, the same inequality that the president was speaking about today, and the issue of basic service delivery needs of the people of South Africa, those millions that the president was speaking about uh, Today is one of those residents joins us now, and her name is Price Dick. Price, thank you for making time to speak to us here on Newsroom Africa. Today's Freedom Day, but what does Freedom Day mean to you as a resident of Koman? I want to talk to you about it, because it's nice to hear it. We don't know what Freedom Day is in Koman, as I can tell you. But we have the opportunity to know what it is. Van 1994 was het eindelijk um, democratie geweest, maar ons weet niet waar het gaat niet. Omdat onze leefstijl hier is baie, baie slecht. Ik wil het niet wegstikken. Ik wil voor allemaal zeggen hoe is on, ons omstandigheden in Komani. Dat is baie, baie erg hoor. Baie, baie erg. Onze problemen met kracht, onze problemen met water, onze straten lijkt zoals ik weet niet hoe het te beschrijven niet. Ons dorp is die veelste ooit, dit is net slecht, allemaal wil net uitkom, maar nie uitkom, dit is rarig, baie, baie slecht. Ek my stelf, maar want hoe gaan ons gaan? Dit is ons dorp, die ons moet beklui vir ons dorp. So ons moet iets doen om dinge beter te maak, dit is hoe kom die community staan op nou, en ons probeer dinge doen, maar is dit so makkelijk hier, want die mense, Enoch en Kijima, ons wil hee, die municipaliteit moet, vernietig word, ons wil hulle nie nie nie, want hulle is useless, hulle beteken vir ons absoluut niks nie. Hulle beteken ons absoluut niks nie, so hulle moet gaan, hulle moet af, hulle moet down, hulle moet gaan, ons wil hulle nie nie nie. With that being said, 2024 elections, of course the councillors will come out in their numbers calling for the residents of Gomani to go and vote. What's the best option moving forward? What can you say to the residents of Komani with regards to that particular issue? Die particular issue rare waar van die councillors is hulle self. Ek en my woord en weet die my councillor is absoluut ridiculous because why ek weet die wat hy doen vir ons. Hy doen absoluut niks vir ons. So ek weet die eindelijk die ons community moet het ons eie hande vat nou en doen wat goed is vir ons om ons self te red. Anders dier die mense doe net niks omtrend die hele situasie nie, niks nie, dit is net slecht, dit is baie baie slecht. And service delivery, you spoke about water issues and electricity issues, how long does that go on? Like for instance, if you guys are out of electricity or water, then what happens? What is, what is it that is done to try and make your lives a bit easier? Um, sommige kere een dag, ander kere een week, sommige kere twee weke, dan moet die mense eerst die tijers brand om dinge gedoen te kreeg, bedoel, Oh, uh, the service delivery is een van die belangrijkste goede wat municipaliteit voor ons moet, moet doen. Maar hulle doen het nie. Dit is net van, jullie moet net wacht, jullie moet net wacht. De goede wordt aangewerkt, de goede wordt aangewerkt. En als het load shading is, dan moet ons op bid, gaan die kracht terugkom. Dit is net absoluut on, on, aanvaardbaar. O, ons kan nie so aangaan nie, ons kan nie. And as parents, does this not concern you uh, when you look at your children and, and, and you, you think to them that uh, at some point you as parents will be held accountable by children that you guys didn't do anything with regards to some of the issues that you are raising now, now that could be their issues? Yes. Dus ook om ons het besluit, ek het besluit as een ouwer om op te staan, want dit gaan onze kinders affecteer aan die einde van die dag. Because wij waas onze kinders een toekomst. Waar is het? Is weggegooi. So ons moet nou opstaan om te probeer iets beter doen vir onze kinders. Price, Dick, 
to, to speaking to us there, saying that uh, sometimes they uh, go a week without electricity and water, and when it's load shedding, they have to pray that electricity comes back because chances are it could last for a week. And the last time they checked, it was actually load shedding. Also stating the fact that it is important for them as parents to come and unite and say that this is not something that they want forever because their council is saying uh, that the council is quite useless because they promise everything but to nothing. They keep telling them to wait and wait and wait and nothing actually gets done as far as the service delivery uh, issues that they're raising as residents of Gormania and also just stating that it is important for community members next year to make sure that they vote for the party that will best represent them and make sure that they deliver the basic needs that these particular residents of Gormani are calling for, which are really electricity, water, and as well as making sure that they are well looked after and the buildings are well looked after because residents are moving out of Gormani. She also says that uh, she had those thoughts, but she wonders where else can she go because all her life she has been living here in Gormani. And why should people burn tires on the streets to get service delivery? Thank you very much, Sipo Setu, for that report.